I'm gonna give it a blonde color. So like, let's say I want the roots to be blonde and the um, the rest of it to be, you know, like uh, brown or red. So I have this blonde one, uh, I'm gonna call that uh, blonde and then I'm going to duplicate that node and I'm gonna call this uh, brown and let's connect it here and then change the melanin and um, also the redness to get the color I'm going for. And that might be a bit too red. So let's, I think we'll go with, let's see, do I want a higher feel melanin? Nope, about, about here's good. Um, okay, now, the cool thing is because these are essentially redshift shaders, you can use, or uh, redshift materials, you can use the material blender. So I'll bring in the material blender and let's see, the blonde will be the base and then the brown will be layer one and I'll connect that to the, uh, to the output. Um, and I need to blend between these. And there's uh, a node that's ideal for this type of effect going from the root to the tip, and that is hair position. So if we search for nodes with the word hair, we have um, hair and principled hair, we've looked at those. We've looked at also some 40 hair attributes, but we have hair position, which I'll drag in, and hair random color, which I'll also drag in. And I always end up using a ramp whatever I'm doing with materials. So I'll go ahead and add that for now. But let's check out hair position. I'm gonna connect the hair position node, which really only has these three checkboxes. These are irrelevant because right now um, it's just outputting the same uh, information um, because of how Cinema 40's hair UVs are created. Um, so let's connect this to the output so we can see what it is. And what we see is this gradient from black to white, uh, black at the root, white at the tip. And because we don't have any controls, you know, a ramp is ideal here. So I'll connect this to the ramp and then let's put that out to the surface. And now in the ramp, let's go here. I can now adjust where, uh, you know, where the hair is gonna blend. Right, um, so we can like come back here, and now if I connect this to the material blender layer one blend color, and then let's put this into the uh, material output, then we'll see we got the blonde hair at the roots, and then at the tips, uh, we get the, the the brown hair or the you know brown reddish hair. Um, and let's see, let me turn on the ponytail and the other lights and the background. And uh, let's say I turn on that ponytail, but it hasn't really updated. I'm going to force the refresh here. And there's another node here. I put in out the hair random node. And it is, um, it's gonna allow us to introduce variation into the individual strands. Um, here, the hair position, it's, uh, well, you know, there are very different purposes, uh, you know, that they, that they serve. So let's check out the hair random color. I'm gonna connect it to the, uh, the output. And oh, that's right. That doesn't very that doesn't play very well. Um, so let's actually. Uh, so look, what we can do with it is let's go to hair position. I'm going to connect the. Mm, I'm going to connect the hair position. To. The hair random color, and then. Connect the hair random color to the. Um, Output node. All right, so um, you know it, there is a color here, right? So we can set a color 
And then we can uh, randomize its hue, saturation, or value. Uh, so we can fiddle with the hue and the saturation uh, and the value or the, the brightness. Um, but let's take the hair position and instead of green, use that hair position. Okay, and let's say that I want, let's turn these down. Um, so I want some more variation along the length. I want some of the strands to be, um, to have more and less of the color. Uh, let's bring the hue up. I've noticed that the, um, the greater these values, the more I sort of lose a lot of control uh, by way of the ramp. Um, and if I want to use this to blend between the two hairs, uh, let's take this, um, let's see, we'll put, we can put the ramp into that random color, but can we put the random color into the ramp? Let's see. Yeah, we can. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so here, if I'm going to be like adjusting the position of this and its contrast, I don't have a tremendous amount of control because of how uh, random this already is. So I want to turn these down a bit and just sort of get in just enough variation to get that range between the white and the black. Um, and then I can you know, with the ramp, I can refine that. So we'll, you know, bring the ramp to essentially its uh, default gradient. And then you see at this point, it's just, there's no, there's not enough, um, there's too much contrast, right? So needed to be low. And then I can go into the ramp and I can bring the black in and I can bring the white in so that there's more white at the tips. And then I can refine um, just in little bits, the um, like the, the value amount or the hue and saturation. Um, saturation, like we don't see different colors, but it does have an effect um, on the overall appearance uh, and contrast. So uh, let's bring that back down like so, and let's go to the ramp and get some more uh, gray in here. And then reconnect the hair material blender to the output. 